All these graphs are lying to us. Graphs are a great way to tell stories visually, but they can also be used to mislead you. Let's see how. This graph suggests that taxes in America would skyrocket if the old tax rates returned by almost five times. Really? The number 39.6% is quite close to 35% and clearly not five times. The gap is exaggerated. But how? Look, the graph starts from 34 and not zero. If we start at zero, the gap won't seem so huge. Here's another one, a Chevy truck ad. Looks like Chevy trucks have significantly outperformed every other brand. But again, the y-axis starts at 95%. If we start at zero, the difference is minimal. This y-axis truncation, starting it from a non-zero number, is often used to exaggerate minor variances. Like this one shows the number of people that signed up for Obamacare compared to the goal. Seems like more than half of the goal is yet to be achieved. But actually, the difference is small. Here are a few more. This one exaggerates the sales gap between the Times and the Daily Telegraph. Then there's this one showing Drake outperforming every other artist by a huge margin. And this speedometer suggests that Microsoft Edge is way faster than Chrome and Firefox. All with exaggerated differences. But start from zero and they would show a completely different picture. Seems like truncating the y-axis is a top pick for crafting misleading graphs. But it's not the only one. Consider this graph. It shows the global temperature rise slowing down as the line nearly flattens. Some researchers used this to claim that global warming has come to a pause. But look at the x-axis. The data is from 1998 to 2012 only. Here's the full picture since 1850. Temperatures are rising. The first graph, just a small part of the whole. Conveniently pick data and show any trend you like. This misleading tactic is called cherry picking. Here's another one showing a steady increase in job losses. But before we get to the cherry pick data, look at the skewed x-axis. Six months are longer than 15. That's not right. Correct the scale and we get this. Still rising, but not so steady anymore. Now, just four points for two and a half years? Surely something's hidden and cherry picked. The complete data reveals a steep rise from December 2007 to 2009. This was during the Great Recession, the real culprit behind job losses. Once it ended, job losses started to decrease. Add a few more years and it went down further. See how these sneaky tricks can deceive us? But they aren't just in ads and politics. They can downplay even serious issues like a pandemic. Like this one. It shows the number of COVID cases in Seoul on different dates. Notice the random intervals, 14 days, 20 days and one day, an uneven and wishful scale on the x-axis. Fix that and the graph looks like this. Originally, it seemed like cases were rising slowly when they were actually doubling. Another one, a graph from Argentina showing COVID-19 tests per million. It suggests Argentina's testing is close to that of the USA. The actual numbers, 330 for Argentina, 7,000 for USA, 20 times more. But the visual difference, minimal. Plotted correctly, this is how it would look. Argentina clearly exaggerating the testing efforts. These exaggerated and cherry-picked graphs are neatly disguised and hence difficult to catch sometimes. But here are some silly ones that even a fifth grader could catch. Look at this pie chart on candidate preferences for president. First obvious mistake. The numbers don't add up to 100. Why? People like multiple candidates, causing overlaps and pushing the total way past 100. But is the pie chart at fault? No, it simply shouldn't have been used here unless you had to choose only one candidate. Here's an interesting one, showing firearm murders in Florida. A new law was passed in 2005. Is it trying to suggest a steep drop in murders after 2005? Or is it trying to hide the fact that murders actually increased? It's hard to say about the intent here, but spot the zero. It's at the top and the graph is upside down. If we flip the graph, it settles any doubt. We see a steep rise in murders after 2005. Finally, here are a few rather amusing ones. 
Is that even a yes no question? What do the black and blue parts even show? And here 336 seems to be on a journey of its own. So, graphs can mislead us in various ways. Some tricks are obvious while others are sneakily hidden. Watch out for those numbers and labels on the axis. Give the visuals a good look. Dig around for any cherry picked data and most importantly, ask yourself what is the graph trying to show or what is it trying to hide? Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. At QMath, we are passionate about making math meaningful and exciting for every child. Our one-on-one -on -one online math tutoring program is tailored for students in grades K to 12, helping them build math confidence and achieve success. You can sign up for a free trial class today and discover the joy of learning math the QMath way.